Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and today we're going to be doing a Q&A video. So I asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube to ask me questions and I have a ton of questions that are just like related, um, YouTube related, and just like personal slash life related. So the first question is why Sugar Rose Studios? Um, so <laughs> my OG fans will remember I used to be Schleich Roses and then I kind of wanted to not have Schleich in my name because I wanted to like be my own entity I guess and then um, I wanted something that was going to be like catchy so I was like Sugar Rose Studios like I don't know I, it, I have no idea honestly um, what is my favorite unpainted Schleich? So I don't have the unpainted ones here but um, this custom that I did on the Frisian Stallion, I really love this mold, the retired Frisian Stallion. I've done a few on him. I'm trying to conga him. He's hard to find though, so it's not that easy. But I also really love the gray riding pony, and right now he's wearing this adorable blanket I made for him. And another one would be the Dartmoor Mirror. I also custom this one, so not really a non-custom, but the original one is cute too. I'm obsessed with like basically any like pony, so... Who is my favorite repaint? So I really like all the ones that I keep. The ones that I sell, I I just don't like that much. Um, but one of my favorites that I have right now is Astrid and she's, I just love her so much. And then the, the tack that you're most proud of, I would say tack. Astrid's tack set is like the most detailed one that I've done, although I'm waiting to get to buy a tack tutorial, a saddle tutorial um because it's going to be on sale during briar fest so i'm going to buy that and i think i'm going to make a new set and it's going to be my best yet i'm 100 percent sure my least favorite model i don't have this model but um the lopezaner stallion like the newest one also the pura raza mare i really don't like her or the stallion although i helped the stallion a lot i did a custom on him and i think i fixed him he's also for sale on my website my first Schleich horse was the Halflinger Mare. This is not her. Um, the actual one that I have, I think I repainted or something and sold her. Um, but this is, she's like a new nice one. That's why she has a blanket on to save her from outside. But yeah, I think I got her from a yard sale when I was like five. So have I ever bought a repaint from someone else? No, I have bought tack from other people, but I've never bought a repaint from other people because I feel like I could just do it myself so it doesn't really make that much- I mean, I don't know, everyone has a different style but I feel like I could just make something similar so there's no really need to buy something. How long have I been collecting? I've been collecting for like three years. I had like before that but I didn't really collect them. I kind of just like played with them and I wasn't really interested in like collecting I guess. How long have I been painting horses? I've been painting for almost two years. So not exactly two years, almost two years. Do I think that Schleich will go back to their old ways? I don't know. I really hope so, but the way things are looking, I don't think so. Um, just like the newest products that have been coming out, you know, even though they've gotten a lot of like requests from collectors specifically like you know could you make your products more realistic like they used to be um there hasn't really seemed to be a lot of a response to that i know there's a few models especially the ones sculpted by da vinci creations that are really amazing and i really love them and love that they've come out with those but a majority of them are not that way how did i start getting ideas and everything for my Instagram and making tack and stuff. Um, I got inspiration from people on Instagram. I made a like Instagram account like two and a half years ago or something and I like posted terrible pictures with my terrible tack and terrible customs. And I was like really inspired by other people that I saw and like I just wanted to get better. I also always watched barn tours when I was little like Always. Biggest inspiration. Anyone that I follow on Instagram is my inspiration. Like anyone because I don't want to say like I don't follow people that I don't like but like I just follow people that are like constantly inspiring me and it really just makes such a nice community that I'm just always inspired by and like when I look through my feed I'm like wow this is really cool like I wish I could do that not to say that people I don't follow aren't inspiring me like I 
there's no way I could follow everyone that inspires me because I have way, way too many posts in my feed. And I haven't found all the inspiring accounts yet. Like I always look through people that inspire me as followers and who they're following to see if I can find more people. Cause sometimes there's like really small accounts that are really amazing and nobody knows about them. My favorite model that is not Schleich, this is Lancelot, he's a WIA model. He is my favorite non like model. And then this horse is my favorite Collecta model. It's the Comarge Mare. And I have this adorable little tax that I made for her. Stable set. What is your favorite YouTube channel that has helped you with customs? I would say DJB's, um, Blue Mountain Stable and Daisy Stalls. Will you always collect horses? Yes. Do you own every Schleich model? Definitely not. Um, I own a lot of them though, more of the retired ones than the newer ones. After college, will you continue repainting and doing commissions? Repainting, probably. Doing commissions, I don't think I will have time, but maybe for like limited, I, I don't know exactly what my future is going to look like, so I can't say anything for sure. What is your favorite color to do in repainting? I love just doing pretty much any color that's not, I don't know. I like doing block pintos, so it's like the hard edges, those are really fun. Um, just ones that challenge me can be fun. Doing roans are is, is fun, but they are very time consuming. If you could rate your old customs and new customs out of 10, what number would you say? So my old customs, zero, no. My new customs, I would say like a solid 7.5 to eight. Like we're getting there. Like I feel like I'm, I'm like really improving. How do you shave off a horse's mane? I use a Dremel drill, which is like a rotary drill, and I put on like a sanding piece, and I just go where, 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 and then it like takes it off. And then I sand it down, and then I prime it, and then I re-sculpt it with epoxy. For more info on that, I have a tutorial. Favorite Schleich figure would be the new kind of like movable ones before they change them back. Making blankets or making halters? 100% blankets, I love making blankets so much. I just don't really have time to do them because I'm trying to do a lot of commissions before I go to college because I think I'll have a little bit more time maybe to do tack and stuff for myself. So I'm kind of just like putting that to the side and being like commission, commission, commission. Because like I want to get my work out there and I want people to be able to have these horses before like I may not have the chance to do them for other people anymore. What do your parents think about the hobby? Um. You know, they support it mostly. Uh, they don't really care. Um, I mean, sometimes they'll be like interested. Like if I show them something like, oh, that's really good. Um, but they're not like, I mean, they think I'm pretty obsessed, which I mean, they're not wrong. They think I should be more social and I should get a different job, but I enjoy doing this, so. Where to take pictures? I recommend going to a golf course because there's short grass and you can get everything in scale and it looks fantastic. Biggest model horse pet peeve? I would say people copying is really annoying and I'm not gonna lie, like I've done it before, but it's just not worth it. And like, it's better to just come up with your own ideas. Do you earn money by doing this? Yes, sort of, because um, I spend money too, so it's like, you know, but I do work a lot. Like, I, and like what I mean work, I mean like paint and stuff. Like, I do it a lot right now because I have the time and I don't have much else to do. I mean, I do, but like, I don't do it. So like, I don't really hang out with other people. Um, social life is dead. Um, but like I have school and I do take school very seriously. Do, where do I get my paintbrushes? All sorts of places like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, um, AliExpress, literally any craft store, pretty much anywhere. Do you do traits? Not really. Um, I do, I've done like one trade, I think. I'd like to do more with specific people though, like because when you're doing a trade, it's, you really wanna do some, do a trade with someone who has like equal work with you so you're getting something that like if you're working super hard and producing something and then you're getting like something really bad back like it's it's a little like i just work so hard to do this and like this is what i'm getting back so it's like when you're doing a trade you want to have like evenly you know like you want to have equal work so have i done fantasy tack yet no i will be doing fantasy tack though 
when I have time. My favorite like full would be the sleeping halflinger full. So, so cute. Okay, do you ride horses? Yes, I've been riding since I was four years old. And also, um, how did you like find horseback riding? I begged my parents to go when I was like four years old. I don't know how that went into my mind, but just always liked horses, I guess. Favorite horse color, I think, Pinto. My favorite animal, a horse. Least favorite horse breed. I don't think I have one. I think like all horses are beautiful in their own way. How often do I ride? So right now I only ride twice a week because like, first of all, it's in the school year. And also I don't have my own horse and it's kind of, far, it's not far away from my house, but it's like 25 minutes. So it takes a lot of time and I have to drive myself. Um, I would love to do it more. I'd love to have my own horse, but I'm just not there yet. Also COVID. What do you think of hobby horsing? It's not really a thing here in the US. I've always like thought it was cool though. I've always wanted to do it. What discipline do you ride? I ride English, I jump. My favorite horse to ride, um, a horse at my old barn, or a pony really, at my old barn named Chatsworth was my literal favorite. He's so cute. My newest custom, so um, I'm literally working on like 10 right now, so those are like my newest, but one of my more recent ones is this custom I did on the Camarche mare. Her name is Dakota. I got her done. I got her on some socks that um, you may have seen in my last video, my pet party unboxing. I got these this girl on socks and so cute and then this is my oldest one um yeah no words will you ever do an original sculpture in the future when i'm better at sculpting and better at anatomy smallest model my micro like how much time do you put into this um i don't really do anything else besides school so if that gives you a time then yeah oh and like besides eating and like taking showers and going to the bathroom. Like that's pretty much all I do. And also doing chores around the house and taking care of my chickens and dogs and fish and driving. That takes up a lot of time for some reason. How many Congas do you have? I have a Shire Mare Conga, also have a Frisian Mare Conga, working on a Frisian Stallion Conga, Gray Riding Pony Conga. How many repaints have you done? I think we're above 200 now. I. Probably around 2 250 I don't, I don't know. What commission do you want to keep? Oh my god, like, I can't. Literally, a lot of my recent ones, I've been like, Wah. Schleich or Collecta? Retired Schleich or Collecta? Like, those are the two. Like, I don't, I like them both like, evenly, I would say. Do you ever get tired of customizing horses? Honestly, not really. And I find that a little surprising, but I learned something by making every single horse. And I get better by making every single horse and every horse is different. So I find it fun that I can try different things and like challenge myself and it's it's never the same. Do I regret spending so much time and money painting on like horses? Nah, I regret too much else in my life, but like this is one thing I just don't want to regret. How long does it take to remake a horse? It depends a lot on the level of customization, like, if you're doing high level customization, it can take a really, really long time. But if you're just doing like a simple, like a simple, like just black repaint, like it's not gonna take that long, but it really does depend on what you're doing. Favorite part about collecting, um, I guess like just being happy with your collection and also meeting other collectors is so much fun and taking pictures and then like posting them. I don't know, just like everything about Instagram and YouTube is fun, which like relates back to my collecting. What do you use to edit? I use iMovie and what do I use to make my intro? I use a place a called Placeit. How often do you get a new subscriber? I think I get a few subscribers every day, like I but I post very often. So there's a lot of chance chances for people to see my content. What helped grow my YouTube and Instagram? Posting often and just getting better at what I do in general. Tips for starting out, don't give up. Like literally it took me <laughs> almost a year to get a thousand subscribers. And after that, it was a lot easier, I think, to get more subscribers. And also I got better at making videos. Like my first videos are literal trash. What is my name? My name is Effie. It's not short for anything. That's my grandmother's middle name and it's just a family name. But you guys know Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. That's like what most people think of. But I don't think that is evil, sir, but 
you know. How old am I? I'm 17 and almost a half, so almost 18, almost an adult, guys. But like always a child at heart, for sure. What is my favorite food? I love frozen strawberries or yogurt or cucumbers. What is my favorite film? Um, I love Disney movies, so The Lion King, but also Spirit and The Last Unicorn. What is my favorite color? Periwinkle. Any pastel color, really. What size shoe do you wear? Size nine. How old is Charlie? He's almost a year old now. He's getting like I feel like I just got him yesterday. Do you have any other hobbies? Um, I used to be really big into fish keeping. I had a bunch of betta fish, and I have like a bunch of fish tanks. Um, I have I still have two fish now, but it's not as big. This isn't really a hobby, but chores, like taking care of my chickens. I really enjoy doing photography um, or just other art in general. This isn't really a hobby, but I've had to do paintings for art class. Have I ridden Western? Yes, I've ridden Western on a trail ride. I don't know if that really counts or not. Uh, have I ever shown a horse? Yes, I hope that I'm gonna show this summer. I haven't shown in like two years because of COVID. Other than a horse, what pet would you like to own the most? Probably, I really think axolotls are really cute, but also like a bunny or a hamster because my dad's allergic. I've never been able to get one and also we have dogs, so like. And I'm allergic to cats. I I'm allergic to like a lot of animals apparently. Will you ever get a horse in real life? 100% yes, when I can pay for it myself. So probably when I'm older and have a job. How do you feel about college and what am I going into college for? I am excited to get out of my house and leave my parents. And I am a little bit, ex I'm like a little nervous. Um, I feel like that's just generally what happens. I'm not too nervous. Um, and what am I going to college for? Uh, biology, I'm majoring in biology. I want to minor in uh, probably entrepreneurship. Uh, I also want to do some like business stuff. I might switch my major to biomedical engineering, but I'm not sure yet. My favorite singer, um, I'm kind of basic when it comes to music, but I'll listen to really anything. But Doja Cat, Ariana Grande, and Taylor Swift. This is my dream job. My dream job, which is not gonna happen, would be opening my own toy company and designing products and like managing all of it. What is my favorite flower? Um, a rose, obviously. How tall am I? I am five foot seven. If I could go to any country, what country would it be? I am begging my mom to take me to the Netherlands so that I can meet all my like friends. I think that'd be so much fun. It'd be like Sugar Rose Studios World Tour. Like guys, do I have a boyfriend? <laughs> That's funny, no. First of all, I've been going to an all girls school since fourth grade, so unlikely. Second of all, I don't got time for a boyfriend unless he's gonna sit down and paint next to me. Do I enjoy school? At the moment, no. But pre-COVID, yes, I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed the rigor, the competitiveness. Um, I am, I strive to be a high achieving academic student, but right now, not really because I've lost a lot of motivation from not going to school in person, which I still could go in person, but I don't want to go in person because I've lost like all of my friends, um, cause I suck at keeping in contact with people especially when like they don't respond or they just don't care. So yeah, um, don't really enjoy going to school right now. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. He is two years younger than me, so he's 15. He is a pain in the butt. Yeah. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have Charlie, my cute little baby. They are, and then I have Setson and they are both Tibetan Spaniels. And Setson I think it's, oh, hmm. He's like 12, thir thir no, wait. I think 13 and a half now. And then I have my two betta fish and eight of my chickens. And someone asked how old my chickens are. They are a year and like three months old because I got them last March when COVID started. Favorite re-sculpt would be this guy here. All right, Roses, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Be the sweet, generous person that you are. Are and go check out my website. The link will be in the description, or you can just click right there. 
and go check out my custom horses that I have for sale. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.